Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Stephanie and I'm blind and I do not have a guide dog, but I do have this. It's the white cane that you're looking at. And so I do use the white cane. <laughs> Scratches on her sides, scratches on her belly, scratches on her chest, dog treats, and sleeping. Her favorite thing to do is nap. I've had her since she was a little puppy. She was kind of a rescue. So join me and baby as we show you what it's like living as a blind person. Okay, fine, so it's just me, but baby's tagging along. Sometimes. Come on, you know you want to. It'll be fun. Right? Okay, so I have debated about making a video about this all week because I was like should I shouldn't I is this a thing that really needs to talk about and I decided that yes it is indeed a thing that needs to be talked about and the thing that needs to be talked about is making friends when you're blind I don't know why this is such a huge issue but I feel like a lot of blind people growing up didn't get the social skills they should have. So their social skills are like on a kindergarten level. And I'm sorry, but if you're trying to be friends with an adult, your skills do not need to be on a kindergarten level. Okay, so... I'm not... This is the part that I'm not sure about. Because I don't want to offend anyone, but basically saying, I want to be your friend after just saying hi to someone is not really the way to make a friend. First of all, you get to know that person. You find out whether you have anything in common. Do you both like kitty cats or puppies or the color purple or blue or what do you like? Do you like NASA, outer space, dogs, bounty hunters named dog? <laughs> what, what do you like? Like, you get to know all that stuff. And then you decide based on those likes whether or not you want to be that person's friend. It's called stuff that you have in common. I feel like a lot of people don't know that and then they get mad because nobody wants to be their friend but that's why nobody wants to be their friend because they're all like well tell me what a typical day is like for you or tell me what blah 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 like you gotta actually have a conversation with the person like you, you gotta find something to talk about like that's how you make friends I mean I literally made the best friend in the world on Haytel just because my boyfriend at the time was friends with him and he was talking to him 
on Skype when I was talking to him on Haytel, and he was like, oh, by the way, this is this person, and this is my girlfriend, and he introduced us, and we literally had a conversation through Haytel about, I don't even know what now, because it's been, like, years and years ago. Like, this is when Haytel was, like, super popular and super cool, and everybody used it, but we literally had an entire conversation, mostly picking on my boyfriend at the time, because it was funny, and we are now the absolutely best friends. Like, we call each other brother and sister all the time. Like, that's how you make friends. I hesitated in making this video because I felt like it was going to come out extremely sarcastic. And maybe it did, but I'm also trying to be serious here. Like, I'm trying to be helpful. Like, you can't get to know somebody by not volunteering information about yourself. It doesn't work like that. I mean... You can't ask about somebody's day and then be like, Oh, well, I'll tell you about mine after you tell me about yours. Like, okay. But what, what, why would I want to tell a complete stranger about my day when I make these videos for... I don't want to call you guys complete strangers, but really, I don't know a lot of you, so... A lot of you, I guess, kind of are because you don't comment on my videos or give me a chance to get to know you. So, <laughs> I I'm, I'm just going to say complete strangers. I mean, I really want to call you friends. I do. But the truth is, I don't know a lot of you. And I really want to know a lot the, the those of you that I don't know. So, leave a comment and tell me something about yourself. What's your favorite color? Your favorite pet? Where do you live? What's the weather like? Something. Tell me something about yourself in this video. So I can get to know you and you can get to know me. I know this video is like really short and I hope that I explained myself well. This was originally going to be part of another video but I decided because the video was so long that it was going to be today's video instead. So, um, I guess if you have any questions or you want me to continue with this topic, give me, a, uh, I was gonna say a jumping off place, but that just sounds bad. <laughs> a point to continue from, I guess, and we'll go from there. In the meantime, I hope that you like this video enough to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're brand new, ring that notification bell make sure it's set to all notifications leave a comment if you have something to say like my facebook page and follow me on twitter both of these are steffi2010 they can be found on my youtube page below the about section they can also be found down in the description below along with a link to transcribe and add closed captions to any or all of my videos, including the one that you're watching right now. So if you know a language other than English and you can help me out, I really appreciate it. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye, guys.